about it. The problem with that is that uh, I could just buy the one gift and just have it with me for the entire month <laughs> instead of buying 31 gifts. Yeah, you're being real cavalier with your finances. Yo, you ever, uh, <laughs> you know, I've never really been going you ever, like, grab your gooch to uh, I think that's been, like, stop a, peeing? A long -running, uh, known fact. What? Have you ever, like, grabbed your No, I, I heard what you said. I, um, uh, I think I just need a little bit more context. Like, what do you mean? I heard that if you want to stop, like, the, the, the pee dribbles, you can, you know. From, from who? Like, did, did you try this? No. Are you sure? No. Did it work? No. Why? Why do we do anything? Yeah. For sure. Um, within my family, within, you know, people who may watch the podcast or listen. And, uh, yeah, you don't have a job. Ripped your bi juice all over me. Welcome back, bench. Oh. Man, we thought we were just synced up and it just didn't work. No. All right. You want to try that again? No. <laughs> okay. Uh, welcome back to Bench, everybody. Yeah. Um, as you can see, we are back in the non-disclosed uh, park location. Non the, the park that's everywhere. Did I ever get my squirrel? I think the squirrel is there, but I cropped it out last time on accident. Man. You, okay. Keep that in mind. Editor, Colin, move that shit higher. Okay. Now go ahead and ask me about my day. Yeah, so how <laughs> was your day? Because I usually wait on you to, mm -hmm. to ask me because I, I like talking. I noticed, yeah. 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 But my... You're supposed to ask me about my week. That's from my day. How's your week, man? Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, we get, you can tell he's not used to asking about other people. Yeah. <laughs> how they're doing. <laughs> but I, it was okay. I had, Jesus Christ. I had a really, really bad interaction at work. What happened? So, where I work, I'm the cashier. Yes. Um, and so I'm, I'm doing my cashier thing, and then these two, uh, this couple walks up. Mm -hmm. This couple happens to be deaf. And as someone who doesn't know ASL, uh, those interactions um, can go smoothly, but this one just didn't. Um, so I usually wear my mask still at work, and it was very awkward trying to communicate with them because at one point they were like, you have your mask on, I can't, I can't lip sync what you're saying. And I was like, oh, I'm dumb. So I'm, I'm going through all the questions about their order and stuff. And at, at the end of the order, I usually ask for a name for the order. <laughs> I don't know. No, don't so, 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 two things wrong with that. Mm -hmm. 
how am I supposed to communicate that I need their name for the order? <laughs> Second off, even if I got their name, what am I supposed to do? Call it out when the food is done? <laughs> oh my god. No, because I think I've done the same thing. I don't remember where exactly, but I remember there's somebody. Um, I think it was being deaf that I just like, I was working at either Target or some other place and I was supposed to be helping them with something and I was like asking them questions and they just like weren't paying attention and I didn't process it. You didn't put it together? Yeah. You didn't it was, put it together. It was so awful. I walked away and I was like, fuck, I'm so dumb. Nah, yeah, my coworker called me out, like, on me. Like, I was asking, like, how do I ask for this? And they were like, dude, you fucking idiot. Like, yeah. <laughs> like they, they were just like, just let us make the food and we'll get it to them. Yeah. Yeah. It, it was, it was like the deaf equivalent of, like, trying to give a blind person a handshake. Mm. And I, 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 I see those moments and I'm always like, oh, I'm better than that. I'm not. I'm really not. It was a, it was a low point in my life in general, yeah. Yeah, no, that, it's like painfully relatable. Yeah. It's one of those things that like you just, you know that feeling of just being like, oh, I'm a dick. I didn't think. I didn't feel like a dick necessarily. Maybe just like. Just an idiot, yeah. nonetheless. Maybe dick implies intention, so. Yeah, I swear so I was why I, Maybe that's why I think I'm a dick, because maybe it's just like deep down. You did your dick <laughs> Yeah, it was, it was on purpose. Yeah. I'm a horrible person. Nah, but. Yeah, so it was, that's been like weighing on me. Yeah. Like since it happened, and I was like earlier in the week. I, I just needed to get that out there. No, I'm, I'm glad you did. I'm really glad that you um, you got that out here yeah. uh, and then laughed about it. I'm, I'm so glad that you yeah. know. <laughs> I'm happy to admit that we're both ableist. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's really all I'm saying. Um, so back to normal. Uh, my week was great. <laughs> Whoa, are you saying deaf people aren't normal? No, I was <laughs> saying you say? that you, you? Ta- you venting about your week isn't normal. So back to normal. <laughs> Huh, carry on. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I didn't really do much this week. Just going on like some photo shoots, done some projects. Yeah, I, like- w- I will say it's just another week of you um, procrastinating on work. Yeah, hopping on a Discord call. Yep. So what? That day, what time did you finish your project? Because it was due at midnight. We went out to Wawa after. Jesus Christ, man. We didn't go to Wawa after. Did we? Did we? No, I don't think after the 4 a.m. one. Oh. We were going to play Multiverse because you were, you've were you been playing that a lot recently. Mm-hmm. I have. Um, toxic. You don't fuck with Multiverses? I do, unfortunately, heavily. Okay. Appreciate it. Le- LeBron. <laughs> uh, continue. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I feel like you got thoughts. Oh, no. I, uh, it's okay. I'm a Jake main. You're a Jake main? Yeah. yeah. Man, kill yourself. And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I have no context. You will soon when you actually yeah. start playing. Yeah. It's fun. It's fun. It's like Brawlhalla. It, all yeah. these fighting games are, are just re- essentially reskins of each other. Yeah. Like, it's not going to be much of a learning curve. but Definitely. Yeah. Yeah, I've been meaning to play it. Um, I've, I've been wondering, like, how well it would translate, because I know, like, a lot of the, the jokes going into the trailers and shit kind of felt a little outdated, but, um, you know, like you said, you have, like, have they brought in new characters, or was, like, LeBron in it to start? He was a new character, right? He wasn't in the initial launch. He was announced, and it came out. Mm. Mm. They're releasing two new characters. They're releasing Black Adam. Right. And one of those Grimlins. Yeah. Yeah. That's sick. Yeah, because I was going to say, 
it's they're cool that they're already adding. planning on adding more. Because if it was kind of like that Nickelodeon game where it just kind of like came out and then like after the press died, I'm sure that, I mean, they may be putting out stuff still too, but like there's not really much going on with it at the moment. I honestly have no clue what Nickelodeon game you're talking about. You didn't know about that? There I, was, it was the same thing, but Nickelodeon put out their own like fighter game with all of their characters. Okay, I think I do know what you're talking about. I'll blank for a second. They, they, the promotion clearly did not work on me. Yeah, it like blew up for a while because people were like, it's fun. It's a little buggy, but it's fun. Right. And then it kind of just like fell out of the like global conversation of gaming and shit. It just kind of like died off and oh. like it really popped up for I think a week max. And what about All-Star? Yeah, I think. So that that, oh, okay. Now that you put a name to it, yeah. I yeah. do know that one. It kind of popped up and went away because I think people were saying that it was just too buggy. Oh. And then this came out and that was my initial thought was like, oh, is this going to be like another one of those? Nah. And it seems like they put the work in, because because oh, it's still just an open beta, right? Oh yeah. And I've it's heard soft. that it's not as buggy or anything. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. No, I'm excited to play it. Good. You better hop on tonight. I swear to God. No. <laughs> I will. I will. But speaking of fighting, um. You know, let's get out of normal. Let's talk about me some more. <laughs> okay, cool, cool, cool. Uh, I did have a dream, and this was like last night into this morning. Um, and it involves you. <laughs> what kind of dream? What are we talking about? <laughs> so, <laughs> so I was like, I was like a fly, okay? And not like flying, like I was literally a fly. Like, like a bug. Like a fly. <laughs> <laughs> like, like a fly. That's fucking wild. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> I, was, I was doing the whole thing. So was like that a Tony instead of Ichi or whatever? Yes. That was. Um, <laughs> Banger. So I'm, I'm flying around. I fly to your house. And I, I, see, I see you in your backyard, and you are just like going to town on Jaden, like, <laughs> just beating the shit, beating out of the him. shit out of Jaden. Oh like, you are Chris Browning Jaden right now. Jesus Christ! And <laughs> and I'm like watching this like from a drone shot type view, <laughs> going around. And then I decided, like, uh, I need to intervene. I need to do something about this, <laughs> this little fly old me. White, <laughs> quite <laughs> literally the equivalent of, like, people being like, yo, nuclear war in Ukraine? Nah, I got to stop this. No, I really, I really had like, to I do really something about this. Like, I really can't let this slide. Like, <laughs> no, I had to do something about this. Like, it's, it, you're not doing shit. Like, what did you do in the dream? <laughs> this fly is a dream, me. by the way. So little I can do whatever the fuck I want. Yeah, true. So I fly like straight first into your back, and so you like go, Ugh, and then you turn around at me and you start swinging on me. So I'm flying around you, and you're just like, <laughs> there's some like uh, Elden Ring shit where it's just like a big ass boss, just like, <laughs> yeah, it, yeah. Just imagine like slow motion, so big. Yeah. <laughs> no, it was crazy. You were swinging on me. You were missing, obviously. Yeah, shut up. Yeah, <laughs> and and then I like I land I land on your I land on your arm, and then I bite you. <laughs> nice. And then, yeah, and I think that's when you called. Because <laughs> then I woke. Up. I woke you up. You woke me up. I was wow. I was biting down, and so you were like screaming. And then the screaming faded into my phone ringing. That's crazy. Yeah. yeah. And then I'm like, 
I'm on my way. Yeah. <laughs> I just thought I was on the way with a vengeance. Yeah. I was like, I can't, is this part of the dream? Is my is this just the second sequence? Is this yeah, the this second is the act? Yeah. You wake up in your little bed house or your, your little, little bed, bed house. house. <laughs> your little fly house. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. No, that was So you were quite literally a fly on the wall to uh Yeah. Me like violating Jaden. Yeah, I don't... I have <laughs> For no, no reason, reason, no context. No anything. context about why you were beating up on Jaden. Nothing happened to Jaden after I started beating up on you. Like, yeah. he just sort of faded. Like, and he was nothing but, like, just, just a stress ball. Just <laughs> a, a, a plot device. Just, like, he's, yeah. he's there, but he really has no, like, character or anything. Absolutely not. He's just guy who gets jumped. <laughs> yeah. The credits start rolling. Happens yeah, to be played by Jaden Mendoza. Yeah. Got to blur his eyes. Yeah, I was going to say, wait, wait. Docs in this, man. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, and then, you know, I'm punching you, but I'm missing because just like in real life, it's hard to hit a small target. <laughs> Yo, I'm really thinking we should do a second fighting video. <laughs> <laughs> I'm down. Cam. Would you be down for a fighting video? Sure, give me something to trade. Shit. He tries to teach us like a different one so that like neither of us have Oh yeah. Any experience? We should get like a, a wrestling friend. I thought we could wrestle naked in the yard with oil and shit. Like the Greeks do. <laughs> <laughs> I think that'd be a banger video. Don't make it a Greek thing. <laughs> this is just a you thing. <laughs> this is your dream. <laughs> yeah, that one's not on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> this is not. Yeah, that was definitely a, you know, I woke up to my alarm just to the sound of like, <laughs> yeah. ah, get over here. Ah, ah, ah. Beep, 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 beep. You know, same Jesus thing. Jesus Christ. Yeah. I don't know why it's such aggressive noises for the. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. I don't know why you had to make us naked to <laughs> wrestle. That's fun. <laughs> Gets rid of all the the the, the, the friction. <laughs> so far. Yeah, my least favorite part of wrestling is the friction. Yeah. <laughs> but it's not even like I was talking about like Greek wrestling and shit, like like old Olympic wrestling type shit. Imagine it's not like it's just. Oh, it's We're like naked, WWE but it's WWE. Shit. Like, yeah. I hit a fucking I'm like jumping her- off a ladder or some shit. <laughs> a hurricane Rana is vile. Yo, everything, <laughs> just, everything's going everywhere. <laughs> Yo, DDT. <laughs> Dude, frog splash. What's the the Dudley's move where he just headbutts into their crotch? <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of like face and crotch moves. Like trying to do a power bomb is like a self own. Oh yeah. <laughs> if you guys don't know what any of these moves look like, just Google the shit. Yeah, uh, dude. I like that we're thinking about the logistics of naked wrestling. <laughs> yeah. Um, That's definitely a subreddit. Oh, for sure. Yeah. I was trying let to decide go, on whether let, or not let I let wanted to... Let me go bookmark that later. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering if this was a topic we want to get into or not, so I think that I may want to dodge it. <laughs> Why is that? You've already brought it up. The Reddit thing? What Reddit thing? The, like, Reddit... Nope. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Okay. <laughs> Reddit is just a really interesting place. That's all I'm yeah. going to say. Um... It, there's a lot to dive into. Yeah, we happen to find common ground on a lot of things. All right, man, that was weird. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no. um, and I'm not going to elaborate further. But <sighs> what happened in, like, political news this week? Just to get my political rant out of the way, let's go from naked wrestling to, like, Biden passing the fucking, or I guess Trump with Mar-a-Lago. I was going to say, That's yeah. the big thing right now. Um, so what did, the, what did the 
people find? So I saw a TikTok about this and I thought it was so funny. They were like, so apparently, right, there's like confidential and then there's like top secret, secret, then top secret. And then there's like select access or something. Uh, so it's like top, top secret. Like yeah. there is a top secret beyond top secret. Yeah. It's so secret. We don't even know about it. And allegedly, because again, there's really no details out yet. It's just like murmurings and shit. I often murmur. Facts. Uh, apparently, he just took a bunch of those files home. Those, like, top, top, top secret shit. And he was just like... What yeah. I find crazy about that is, if it's so top, top, top secret, how does he get away with just bringing that home? That's the point. He doesn't. Because that's why they're trying to raid him. I mean, yeah, but how does he get it to his home in the first place if, they're, if they seem like they would be so heavily protected? He probably had helpers. I don't know. I mean, they're just papers. Yeah, yeah. there's paper that he could just hide. If he saw the paper, he could like make like a copy or something. Like just like, just, like takes the paper. The paper. <laughs> 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 this is my Abe Lincoln cosplay. <laughs> I was feeling like Abe Lincoln. Nah, he gets the, the Diet Coke button, and then when everybody leaves the room, he's like, shit, shit, <laughs> in the bag. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, he would be a Diet Coke lover. You oh, would be is. a Diet Coke lover. I was, like, literally saying the, like, if I ever, for some reason, made it into office, one, we're fucked. Two, <laughs> like, the <laughs> only thing that I could see as, like, a Trumpism that I would be like, yeah, let's do that. Fully on board with? is the Diet Coke button in the Oval Office. Like, that shit is going in there. I'm unapologetic about that shit. You are a sick person. I am. God. I don't get the appeal. That's what would make me a good politician. <laughs> I'm just a sick person. I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get the appeal of Diet Coke, though. I think I just grew up on it, and that's why it's, like, hard to get out of now. Because the thing about aspartame and, like, any other artificial sweetener like it is that... It is so sweet, like it's considerably sweeter than sugar in smaller doses, too. Do you have a Diet Coke here? Yeah, I do. Because I, I don't remember the last time I had a Diet Coke. I'm, I'm going to try you it. You want to try some? Yeah. Oh, my God. I'm walking into the void. He's going to try it on camera. It's just like... I think last time I tried a Diet Coke, it wasn't in like a Diet Coke can or anything, so I didn't know it was Diet Coke. And then I tried it and I was like, oh, someone it's, fucked this up. Yeah, it's weird. Like, someone if you're used up. to regular Coke, it's, it's sweeter, but also like, it's just got like a weird bite to it at the same time. Because the reason it has such low calorie count is because they. Banger. Carry on. Uh, is because that sweetener is so sweet at such a low dosage that they don't have to put much in each can. Mm. It's still, like, horrendous for you, though. Damn, you're just dribbling that shit everywhere. Oh, oh, so. oh you. Oh, my God. <laughs> that one was... <laughs> yeah, this shit's this shit's ass. <laughs> I wonder if it's like, because like, what about it is so bad? I, yeah. Now you can just throw it away. I don't know. <laughs> it's. I don't like the way that that is sweet. Versus like regular Coke. Yeah. It kind of appro it kind of feels Pepsi ish. I don't know if that makes sense. You know what I mean? Kind of approaches Pepsi in at least I think so. I like kinda get it, but I kinda don't because I also like Pepsi and Diet Pepsi, but for like different reasons. Mm-hmm. I like 
I think it's more to do with like artificial sweeteners because this also kind of works with the same concept. Like it uses, instead of like aspartame, it uses, uh, what's it called? Erythritol or something like that. Um, erythritol. So it's basically a sugar alcohol. And again, it kind of works the same way where it's the shit that'll kill your dog. <laughs> kind of. That's xylitol. Oh. Yeah. Um, but similar. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, right? I had to figure it out through experience, I guess. <laughs> um, but You go through some shit. <laughs> yeah. Um, it kind of works the same way where it's like, it almost feels like a fake sweet though. Right. Because of how like, it's not sugary. It's sweet and you recognize it. But like, it does feel, it does feel fake. It does feel disingenuous. I guess that's why you like it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Absolutely. Same thing with Trump. So back to Mar-a-Lago. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, yeah. So... Uh, you know, it's like the conspiracy side of me is obviously like, okay, he took that so that he can like show it to all his like oligarch friends in Russia and, you know, whoever else he has overseas or whatever. Right. Part of me wants to believe that he was just like, no, I just wanted to keep it. If they ever try to pull something on me, I have the nuclear codes. Mm. And they look really pretty on my, on my foliage. I don't know. He's just like, has nuclear <laughs> codes like on a display somewhere? <laughs> like, I don't know. It's in the front yard, you know? Yeah. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I keep it on my mantle. <laughs> it's right above his fireplace. I was going to say, yeah, yeah. It's... God. Yeah, it is crazy. Because then you also have the people, because their whole narrative now is like, they're trying to push that it's declassified as soon as he decides it's declassified, and that doesn't mean that he has to say it, mm -hmm. which literally fucking means everybody else should be, like, telekinetic. Like, because as soon as he took it home, it was declassified. That's it. Yeah. Oh, what the fuck? Which, if that's the case, let's see the papers. Yeah. Show it to everybody if it's declassified. Like, let's, let's see what he took. Mm. <laughs> it's declassified. Just the fucking nuclear codes yeah. posted on Reddit or something. Yeah. Like... <laughs> Let's well, see. It would be Reddit that it would get posted. Show us Hillary's <laughs> emails. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's just... It's a wild thought. And because they're trying to push, like, weird narratives where they're like, he did no wrong. The FBI raided him. Also, you think the, you think the nuclear codes would be on Reddit? I think that's more of, a, like, a 4chan thing. I'm not a 4chan user, but, like, 4chan is an evil place. I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Like, the only thing that scares me more than Twitter sometimes is 4chan. I've never actually, like, dabbled with 4chan, so I think that it's probably... Yeah, a good it's thing. entirely anonymous. Like, you don't have usernames. You have, like, you're just assigned a number Yeah. that you don't even know. What happened to... Like... Uh, 4chan. It's basically, like, is it just, like, another... It's like, like a forum type? thing, yeah. yeah. Mm. Um, but basically, like, the worst of the worst. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> like, straight... Like, scummy motherfuckers. I was gonna yeah. say, like, I feel like that's where you find, like, uh, uh, people getting killed and, like, CP and all sorts of, like, crazy, nasty yeah. shit. Yeah. Like, their opinion of women. Oh, yeah. That's <laughs> where, like, the incels. Yeah. Kind of roam. I've read a, like, I'm subscribed to r slash sad cringe. I've read a, I've read so many, um, post about like incel forums they're just fascinating yeah and yeah, every think... single they all follow a pattern of like lack of self-awareness and it's it's all every time when they're asking why they don't attract women the previous five paragraphs that they wrote Tell exactly why they don't <laughs> yeah. attract women. Yeah. You actually read one, like, specifically to me the other day, I think. Mm -hmm. And uh, bro was having, like, an anime uh, main character arc moment. Yeah. It was, like, he was talking about his uh, coworker, um, who I guess is just, like, nice to him. And uh, 
she talks about have she's gonna be going to vacation in like Aruba or something, and he was like, "Oh, you going with anybody?" And she's like, "Yeah, my boyfriend, like longtime boyfriend too." Yeah. Like, like a, I've a never felt so sick in my life. Yeah. Absolutely gutted by this information. Yeah. You can or, read any incel post in that voice, and you, I wouldn't say you're wrong. I think that that's what they think they sound like, though. Because mm. most of the time, I feel like the post is more like, I can't believe this happened. I was gutted. I can't believe this happened. <laughs> Why don't they fuck with nice guys? <laughs> I held the door open for a girl and she didn't give me head. <laughs> you sound like a hormone monster. <laughs> <laughs> the hormone monster, oh no. Heck no. Nah. <laughs> I just watched like a video of some dude going up to at, like asking people and he was like, um, how do you feel if uh, a girl asked you out on a date and the dude's like, no problem with that at all? Like everybody in the video was super nonchalant, but the interviewer was just like, oh, he was trying he, to like, you could see his anger was just peaking. Yes. He was just like, so what if she tried to like pay for the bill? What are you going to do? And he's like, ah, I mean, shit, it doesn't hurt me, but like, yeah. it's like most likely I'm going to pay for it, but like, it's nice. You should. Mm -hmm. And then he asked these girls, and he was like, does no always mean no? And he's like, uh. Whoa, 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 whoa. And they were like, well, it depends on, like, you know, you have to read the room and da 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 da, da. And, mm -hmm. and to some extent, the problem with that argument is that they're not, it, the girls were saying, like, you know, if it's, like, a playful, like, stop, stop, versus, like, no, stop. Mm -hmm. And I think it was, like, Hassan uh, reacting to it. And... His point was that, like, this is somewhat true. Like, you know, there is something to do with, like, reading the room and context and stuff. Yeah. The problem is a lot of motherfuckers who are asking about, like, does no always mean no? Yeah. They are looking for a yes or no answer. They are not looking for nuance. Yeah. So anytime there you try to no give them a nuanced a answer, yeah. you have to tell them no. <laughs> Just no means no. Like, because yeah. if you can't read the room, then that's the problem. Right. And clearly they can't because they're going around asking people like, well, when does no mean no? Yeah. How do you feel? When, if, when I do you say want no, honest guys? Do you want honest, nice guys? And they're like, yes. And he's like, okay, so what if I told you, hey, I really think that you're attractive and I think that we should go out to get food. And um, after that, we should, uh, 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 we should uh, 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 commence. And then um, <laughs> how would you feel about that? They're like, fuck no. He's like, why? You said be honest. And he thinks that's like a gotcha. I don't want to commence. <laughs> <laughs> commence. <laughs> uh, it's just like, it's so, how do we get from Trump to incels? <laughs> you but, know why. No, <laughs> yeah. That's Ben's podcast, baby. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> Our old brand. <laughs> oh, my God. Um. Uh, but, yeah, it's just, it's so foul. Uh, yeah. 4chan, I don't want to experience it. Reddit, I already get enough just seeing, like, <laughs> sad cringe shit because I'm following the same shit. Yeah. Um, yeah, the, the Trump Mar-a-Lago shit is crazy. <laughs> uh, you got motherfuckers who are, like, defund the FBI and people are, like, I just like I agree, but for the wrong reason. Yeah, like <laughs> that's the problem. Is that's what we were saying. Like I've talked about how the FBI and the CIA are like probably some of the most corrupt, like awful, <laughs> worldwide organizations. Mm -hmm. Well, FBI being domestic, obviously, and then CIA being overseas. Right. Um, but they're kind of doing the same thing. They they fight with each other, but they it's because they do the same thing. Yeah. The FBI, you know, they'll. People think that they killed, like, JFK and MLK and other people. Uh, you know, Judas and the Black Messiah is literally about, like, the FBI going and, like, yeah. uh, killing, like, Black Panther leaders. And yeah. Trying to keep, like, voices down. Yeah. Um, and it's one of those things where it's like, now you say defund the FBI? Yeah. Because they literally, they make it sound like they raided his home, which... Again, for us, like, 
we see this shit on like with cops just breaking into people's houses all the time. So we're just mm-hmm. like, all right, and yeah, but it's a rich person, so yeah. it's like, oh shit. Um, but also, that's not even totally the case. Like, they gave him a subpoena, mm-hmm. literally meaning they asked as nice as possible, and they were trying to play nice for as long as possible because yeah. they knew his voter base was gonna go crazy. Right. So. The fact that they were literally like, hey, man, like, we don't want to do this out in public. Like, can you just pass that shit back low-key? Mm. Like, honestly, like, it's, it's nothing big, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, if you just want to, like, pass that back, you know what I'm saying? Just, just you know, slide those papers back. It's fine. It's, it's nothing crazy. We don't want to make this a big yeah. deal, you know? Yeah. Just want to keep this down. You trying to commence or something? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I, you know, they're, they're all... <laughs> but... Because the the guy that's doing it is somebody appointed by Trump. Yeah. And allegedly, the, the irony is that Trump possibly broke his own law that he passed, the Espionage Act. Uh, which, again, has the conspiracy theorists in my mind, like, rolling. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm sitting there thinking, like, okay, why would he break his own law if he knew that that was a law? Yeah. Um, I think it creates like a martyr complex, whether he intended it or not, because now all of his fan base is like, mm-hmm. they're trying to get him. Yeah. And if he goes to prison, he's like Jesus to them now. So. If he wasn't already, yeah. Yeah. It just like further solidifies it. But. Um, <laughs> it, yeah. Let's be honest. If he went no, to prison, imagine. he's probably going to like a, a nice prison. Yeah. But also imagine if he was, like, sick and he know he was on his way out and he, like, pulled the Epstein card. Ooh. Where it's like, uh, I'm just letting you know, I would never kill myself. I would never self-harm in prison. Yeah. And then he does or something. He would. He and would everybody's like, like they got him. Yeah. You know, again, it's just like, they're already at a point where he has such a crazy following that, like, I don't know how you particularly prove to that base that he is, like, such a horrible human being. Mm -hmm. But I think that if he died or if he was, like, incarcerated or anything, it immediately creates, like, the system is the villain. Right. I don't know. It is a tricky situation. I'm sick of uh, just... I'm sick of all the bullshit. <laughs> I've been making fun of like centrists and shit. Yeah. It's just like sick of all the fucking bullshit, dude. Like, why do we keep talking about this? There's red and there's blue. Why can't we all just like they commence and make purple? Just, <laughs> exactly, bro. Like, God. they all just do the same thing on both sides, and you're yeah. just being fucking played. They're really, they're all just as bad as each other. Like, like honestly, know. yeah. Just, right. just say you don't do politics. That's fine. Yeah. <laughs> you don't you don't have to like argue yeah. things that you don't know about. Yeah. But yeah. yeah. Like one side, yeah, they may want to take away women's rights, but the other wants to tax billionaires. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like how is that fair? Like, <laughs> come on. They earn the money. Either they way, they're it. taking away people's right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like uh, but to some extent, I, I could see being like we should equally criticize both sides because I do think that the good thing recently has been the criticism of the Democratic Party um, because I think that when there was a lot of this stuff going down and there was a lot of inaction because the Democratic Party knows that they just have votes because of this. Yes. That doesn't make them look good. It makes them think like, okay, so I know that if you have a vote, you won't do shit. Mm -hmm. And I think that more and more people are, I I know that that has been like a generally accepted thing of like, well, you shouldn't just like run on campaign promises or like just Mm -hmm. assume that they're going to do everything. Yeah. To some extent, I get it that it's unrealistic to try and hope that they'll get everything done. But if they are getting like little to nothing done, Mm -hmm. it's fair to say that like, you should start criticizing the problem as a whole. Yeah. And I think that that is what people have been doing. It is really crazy how proactive the right can be. 
Yeah. If only they were doing it for the right reasons. <laughs> yeah, that, that's the problem is like they know that they have a minority vote. Mm -hmm. They are the smaller group in terms of just like getting stuff done. Mm -hmm. But when they do have power, they rush to get that they shit done. They use that shit. They go guns blazing. Yeah. Like, literally. <laughs> literally. <laughs> and for us, it's like, you know, the... The Democratic Party, they're like, hey, we're going to fix what they did. Mm -hmm. It's all, it's never a proactive approach. It's always a reactive, yeah. like, oh, they did something bad. If you guys vote for us, mm -hmm. it's like, why the fuck should I? Yeah. Because half the time they don't. We still haven't seen any really, like, big action since the Roe v. Wade thing. Yeah. And, you know, it's just frustrating, you know. You, and then on the same time, like, the Democratic Party has so much infighting that when you have somebody like a Bernie Sanders or like an AOC who may be a little bit more leftist but did have a bigger following, uh, you know, you have like legacy Democrats like, you know, anybody in the Clinton camp, uh, you know, they're, they're Biden kind of seemed like a nobody's going for him type vote. Yeah. And it seemed like Bernie was going to be the front runner. And then they just like campaigned heavy behind Biden. Mm -hmm. And that's when Bernie kind of fell out. It was one of those things where I, to some extent, I understand that there's less possibility that Bernie was going to beat Trump because people are not as open to socialism as a concept or just like the idea of it. Mm -hmm. It's the word itself. It, yeah, it's the word. Because if you explain socialist, or socialist ideas to somebody who is... Without saying... Without saying socialist, yeah. you'd be like, yeah, I do think that workers should have better rights. <laughs> Honestly, like, it, I do think that, like, food and, like, medicine should be, like, more affordable. Yeah. And then when you're, like, yeah, well, like, socialism does that. They're, like, ah, oh, no, but, like, see, that's a little, it's, like, that. Uh, <laughs> and I get it because I think that a lot of that comes from distrust of government. Mm -hmm. um, you can't trust that the government would use your tax money correctly to try and do it. And they'll cite things like, you know, any other failure, like, that, and I'm not saying total failure, but like, you know, Obamacare, when it came out, it was kind of rough. It was hard to get through. Mm -hmm. um, it's not saying that you can't fail at something. It's yeah. saying that at least they were trying to do something. And it, that doesn't mean that socialist ideas as a whole are just bad because Obamacare didn't go as well as it yeah. should have. Yeah. Like the government still can fuck up and they do a lot. So... But, yeah, that's enough political talk. <laughs> sure. Um, I'm just going to go full centrist for the rest of those podcasts. Cool. Uh, you know, just I'm sick of all the bullshit. Have you ever thought about, like, cartoon characters? And, like, often. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> have you ever thought about, like, childhood like shows and like cartoon characters and like maybe even like other tv characters and like gone back and been like i wonder who they would have voted for <laughs> this is so off topic but like I, we i think we mentioned it one time and mm -hmm. it was just like <sighs> you got a show in mind patrick from spongebob is Easily the centrist mindset. <laughs> if not, like, apolitical. Yeah. I don't even think it's apolitical. I feel like he's just, like... Because he's always the brunt of the joke is just saying some dumb shit. Yeah. I feel like he would be like, well, both sides actually do just as bad. I... I for both <laughs> Here's the thing. If he was a centrist, I think that would require him to think uh, true. about both sides. I think... Whoever he is around, think both sides? I think they want to believe that they have a uh, a more morally high like way of thinking about it. Yeah, but that doesn't require any like research or thought into it. Mm -hmm. You just say both sides are bad, and then you don't bring up any like evidence to back it. Mm -hmm. My thing with Patrick is, I think whoever he is around, in whichever way they vote he'll vote. Like, I think he's easily susceptible to um, just 
or easily able to be influenced. No, that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> that's Neptune crazy. is a fascist. That's, that's sure. Crazy. Oh my God! Yes. Holy shit. He's not used to those, yeah. <laughs> Democracy. Yeah. <laughs> what are you talking about politics? Y'all don't worry about that. <laughs> Zaps you with lightning or something. I'm shit. quite literally <laughs> a god. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What are we talking about? <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> I think Squidward's trying. Squidward's a libertarian. Yeah. Or he's a liberal. Like, just... I think Spongebob is a liberal. Yeah. I think Spongebob is a liberal. I think Sandy is a leftist. Yeah. Because we're... Uh, I think that... I had mentioned that one. Because I think that since she moved away from Texas, that's, like, the complete opposite of, like, any Republican at the moment. Like, yeah. they're all moving to Texas because they're like, it represents freedom. Yeah. Unless you're a woman. Yeah. <laughs> um, so that even, that makes even more sense. That's even, yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, Sandy's a leftist. Because she also believes in science and clearly like you know the right doesn't bad do bad Texas has to be for you to be a land animal? <laughs> and move, and move underwater. underwater. <laughs> That's crazy. Said literally it's so bad up there, I gotta live down there. Dude, I'm, <laughs> I'm going into the depths. That is quite away. literally like us being like, yeah, this shit's fucked. I'm going to space. Yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna build a bubble. I'm just literally just gonna hop into the Atlantic and then just yeah, m- figure it out. I've seen some dolphins. They're pretty chill. <laughs> yeah. um, Mr. Krabs, uh, a complete... I don't know if he's like fascist right wing, but he's definitely like... Graham Stephan, like super capitalist. He is gonna push you on crypto, like yeah, <laughs> yeah. crypto. <laughs> Sorry, ar, 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 ar. Sponge boy, me Bob. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you oh. think? Hell but yeah. do you think that he's one of those ones where he's like, uh, really like far, far right, or do you think that he's like a? I don't like him, but I'm still no, voting for him. Hard. Far, he's, he's far. Like, he's gonna use the same argument a lot of people do. Like, do y'all like money? Then why don't you vote for Trump? That's yeah. Try, yeah. Wait. Yeah. Krabs and his daughter. I love the right wing dad <laughs> liberal daughter trope. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Uh, Plus, she's adopted, right? Is she adopted? No, she's not adopted, but like. Did we ever meet the mom? I think we. I think we saw pictures of the mom. Huh. But, like, she's not a crab. (laughs) So it's like... Yeah. I don't know if they'd ever explore that, but yeah. I... uh, Hmm. Yo, hear me out. Plankton is a socialist. A socialist? Mm. He's stealing from the rich. He's trying to create a more fair marketplace because Mr. Krabs has <laughs> Mr. Krabs has a monopoly over the Krabby Patty. That's so he's trying to steal the formula so that he can make an off-brand to be more affordable and to be uh, to make competition. Yeah. Um, I fuck with that. He's fairly resourceful. Because I think chum is a byproduct of fish. So technically, yeah, he's a cannibal, but like, we'll let that slide. <laughs> it's, yeah. it's, it's environmentally cautious. <laughs> okay. He's really into technology. E- e- <laughs> <laughs> really into technology. I, because of their relationship, I'm sure that he's fairly sex positive. You know, like very like open and, uh, you know, they, they try different shit. You know, he may be... Uh, an ally or something. Like they're, they're probably into different things. Last play. Oh. Oh. <laughs> to the imagining plankton. Yeah, uh, no, it's terrifying. <laughs> put your plug into my socket. <laughs> <laughs> Charge me up. No. <laughs> 99% hot gas. <laughs> <laughs> they don't get horny, they get charged. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Um, no, what was y'all saying? Technical difficulties? 
Oh my Yo. god. Yo. <laughs> okay. oh, I can only imagine so how tight. technically difficult <laughs> Karen gets. Yeah, no. Uh, I think... Actually, no. You know who's a socialist? Gary. Yes. Because he's educated. Like, if yeah. you think about, like, the dream sequence where he's, like, in the big library. Yeah. I think that one of his biggest manuscripts he has in there is, like... The Communist custom Manifesto. Make, the custom made Communist Manifesto. Mm-hmm. Specifically for him. He has he a framed it. photo of Karl Marx just, yeah. like, above the fireplace or some shit. Yeah. Yeah. Nah. He is completely... Not even in, like, a douchey way. He's just, like, a giga-chad, like, <laughs> in terms of just uh, knowledge. I mean, nice. it's just, I mean, it's just, like, and he just doesn't really say anything. Mm-hmm. So he's just, he just got all this knowledge and can't spread it. Damn. Back in the day, I'm only a snail. In fact. Wow. Think of all the potential, man. If only Bikini Bottom was a socialist state with no... With no boats, no, boats. no boat mobiles, <laughs> just a walkable city. Oh my god! You I'm know what the looking. you know what Bikini Bottom can use a big old Walmart super center. <laughs> <laughs> a big highway going through the middle. Didn't <laughs> yeah. they make an episode about that? They Did made they? An, they made an episode about like a highway cutting through jellyfish fields, and it would like go over the oh crusty crab. God. And it was talking about the commentary, the, the yeah. implications. There were so many episodes like that that Dude. I just didn't process. Man. That's hard. Yeah. That's um, really good. Because <laughs> they were talking about how it like ends up killing the crusty crab because it kills off local businesses. Dude. Fuck yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was sick. And I think that um, then you have, uh, going back, it, uh, Bikini Bottom being a walkable city with like a, a nice coral reef bringing mm-hmm. back the natural environment. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's all in Gary's plan. Yeah. Nah, Nah, I think a Wawa would bang. Just like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. Right in the middle, I'm thinking a Super Target and a strip mall. <laughs> I need parking needs to take up ninety percent of the land. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, I'm really thinking a golf course would go nuts. Ooh. <laughs> Everyone loves a good golf. Course. Loves a good golf course. Yeah. Um, What's another Do you think problem? that there's like a homelessness problem in Bikini Bottom? Hmm. And they just don't televise it? I don't think there's a homelessness problem. You know what I think? I think if you're poor and you're homeless, you become a Krabby Patty. Or Chum. Yeah, I was or say Chum. Chum, chum Bucket. Either or. So does that if change crabs, our view on Plankton? If you're a crab specifically, I think you're a Krabby Patty. Have you heard that theory about Mr. Krabs? Yeah, because yeah, it's literally like a, like a lobster trap, right? Like yeah. that's what the Krusty Krab is made of. Yeah. Let's move on to a different show. Uh, <laughs> Phineas and Ferb. Okay. I'm... Who do you want to start with? I think Baljeet, come on, you know he's, you know he's fighting the good fight. <laughs> yeah, definitely a leftist. You know he's laid back, chill. He's he's fighting for people. I think Phineas, um, Phineas votes red. Isabella votes blue, and Isabella thinks she can change Phineas. <laughs> Man, that is a commentary on some of y'all motherfuckers. I, mean, <laughs> yeah. I know a couple of people like this. <laughs> that is crazy. Um, I can change him. Yeah. If they grew up in somewhere less like metro and more uh, like rural, he'd definitely drive a, a lifted truck. <laughs> the squatted That's like a- back end Ford F-150 or yeah. Tacoma or some shit just like. Mm-hmm. Backdropped. That's like a southern thing. I think the little. I, my dad said it was yeah. called like Carolina squat or something, where they have like the back end low and then like the top. Right. And then you can't see over your hood, so you're like driving like. Yeah. Fucking that goofy ass. Nah, I think. Yeah. If if that stereo if that trope holds true to them two, 
I think if they ever go to like a party or some shit or just like a general outing together, Isabella has to like warn him not to say some dumb shit before. Like, look, like, Phineas. Phineas. Just Phineas. Don't. Let's just try to keep it light, okay? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, please watch what you're saying, you know? It's yeah. just. You always ask, like, what are we gonna do today? And then it somehow turns into a political rant. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Verb, like, I know what we're gonna do today. We're gonna bomb. <laughs> No, We're going to kill that. all the libtards. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Hey, Ferb, I know what we're going to do today. No, Ferb. Cut off low-income communities from resources. Yeah. <laughs> Ferb is what? Ferb is more of the parliament system type guy. He doesn't vote, does he? Does he even That's have true. the right to vote? Ferb's like from the UK, and so is his yeah, dad. Yeah, so is the dad. But getting but into all UK, about the queen. <laughs> UK politics, though, I think that it it's still fairly, you could kind of argue, like, even though it's not party lines, it's, like, left or right, generally. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. Something about them just reads to me that they wouldn't want to treat their workers well. So, like... <laughs> Because they're like very, let's do it all ourselves. And I feel like if they had somebody on board with them to help them the build. fuck is a union? Just <laughs> <laughs> Unionize. You. Unionize these nuts. <laughs> <laughs> How are you going to have a union if you aren't here? You're done. Oh. <laughs> You're fired. Finito. He's just like talking like Buford or some shit. Like, <laughs> oh. oh, yeah, Buford. <laughs> Buford. Wasn't, I feel like there was a joke about him being like the meathead feminist or something. Like, I think he, he, I think he could be a himbo. Yeah. I think he, I think Baljeet steers him in the right direction. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He picks on Belgie for being nerdy, but then he like actually picks up on the things that Belgie's talking about, and he's like, "You know what? <laughs> yeah, he makes that, that's really good. Yeah. yeah, I think Jeremy. Hmm, what is Jeremy? He's strong. His parents have to be. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. It's like one of those good boys that you don't know who will go towards that side and mm -hmm. meet their parents, and he's like, "Why well, agree with?" No, nah, he's like mad chill. Like every time you talk to him, like you never get into politics. And then I don't know where he's like, yeah, honestly, I'm just like, you know, as a, as a good American Christian, I just. Yeah. Honestly, both sides have their problems, but like, I, I just think feel I like Trump was way. the lesser of two evils. Like yeah. it just. <laughs> Are you sure about that? <laughs> yeah, you don't realize he's he, doing that's that. That's him I did the that. whole time. Did I already tell the story about my dad with those stickers? I don't think so. Oh, it, it was probably one of the funnier things that uh, he's told me, like, in the past while. <laughs> um, it was just, like, such a subtle thing, but I guess his boss had a few of these Biden stickers, and it was like, the, I did that. And my dad was like, ugh. And he took one of them. It was, like, dad funny. In retrospect, a little insensitive or whatever. He took it. Uh oh. And they were at a restaurant, and there's like a bunch of pictures of like people that came at the restaurant. Right. And there was like a picture of like two girls up there. And he, he put the Biden sticker up on the picture of like the two women. Jesus and it's Christ. pointing at the women. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, it's, it's dumb, but it was one yeah. of those ones where it was like, it was funnier than him putting it on like a gas tank or some shit. Yeah, I guess. It went yeah. to a better cause, I guess. Sure. <laughs> this one, he's saying Biden fucks. Which <laughs> I guess. <laughs> sure. Sure. Uh, what's another show? Fairly Odd Parents. Ooh. Cosmo is giving me Mad Rand Paul vibes. Ooh. Yeah. Just the Green Party. <laughs> it's just. He full sense. I guess, it. yeah. No, uh, it's very limited. It's about dictatorship. Jordan Monster yeah Ooh. you're right you are Damn. right nah that's solid that's solid who is the one who lives in the 
the trailer park with the braces. Chester? I know who you're talking about, yeah. Chester. I mean, yeah, you absolutely. gotta imagine. You Trump know. is fighting the good fight for us yeah. down here. We ain't ever making it out of the trailer. <laughs> yeah. Um, I thought Chester was the the bald black kid. No, that's AJ. That's a, and he's yeah. for Trump too. You think AJ's really? funny? Oh yeah, for sure. It was, like, it was his dad like a doctor and all that kind of stuff too? That, yeah, that too. Only because I feel like he is and he's a coon, honestly. <laughs> he would go against us. <laughs> <laughs> I can see it. It wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> like, he'd be like, yeah, but... I'm just not doing as much for the country oh as my Trump God. did, and I'm seeing this off of, you know, yeah. actual statistics, and then he signed with Trump, 100% agent. Yeah, but Trump. that's one of the most dangerous sentences. Yeah. Ever. <laughs> that's wild. <laughs> Timmy's interesting. Yeah, because I can't really tell. He's selfish, so I want to think that he's like a capitalist in some way. Mm-hmm. But there's capitalists know. on both sides. That's the problem. You can't really, like... Just be like, that's the right one. In the, in the lore of <laughs> Fairly Odd Parents, he still has, like, he still has them up until, like, his teen years. Yeah. So I don't know if he ever grew up out of that. Or if... So you think that by having, like, a, a really, not just strong support system, but a really privileged one in a really nice house and... Mm -hmm. Uh, I think he is apolitical because he doesn't have to care. I think he has everything he could want. Yeah. All right, so it cut short because somehow I ran out of storage uh, when I have 250 gigs on my iPhone. Shit's never happened. So Dude, do we just want to round off? Like, you got to stop downloading so much porn. I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> Yeah, I had to you gotta I literally just had to delete my files app. Yeah. Like there was just so much. You gotta stop downloading naked wrestling <laughs> slicked up with oil. Look, it's really hard to find quality videos, okay? And I don't know how to get back to it. Is this why it. you want to make your own? Yes. <laughs> That's it, there's a market for it, okay? There's a market. <laughs> oh, you're in it for the money, obviously. Capitalism, yeah, yeah, yeah. baby. <laughs> Capitalism. Podcast, baby. <laughs> Bench podcast, baby. Yay. All right. Um Final thoughts, like, in terms of, like, let's pit, like, two cartoon characters against each other that, like, you wouldn't think, like, let's get the, the Ben Shapiro and, like, insert leftist debate bro here. Like, I'll, I'll say Hassan, but I feel like he probably wouldn't be the mm -hmm. guy. There's, we don't really have a guy. Like, Sam Cedar, I think, but he's not as well known. He's just known for being a better debate debate bro uh-huh like hmm. steven crowder hmm. sam Cedar. okay um i think mr krabs is a really good um the right wing right wing no he's left for sure no. yeah for sure <laughs> um he's actually yeah i'm actually a, a liberal <laughs> i just like money <laughs> <laughs> um i hate big business too <laughs> Walmart started selling Krabby Patties. <laughs> <laughs> started selling frozen patties. Yeah. Frozen patties. <laughs> they called them Krabs Patties. <laughs> they stole my flow. <laughs> they stole. <laughs> ar, 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 ar. <laughs> they stole the Krabby Patty secret formula. <laughs> um, who's SpongeBob, me boy? Stop unionizing. Ar, 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 ar. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be fired. <laughs> who's a good? leftist cartoon character. What the fuck are we doing? Because I don't want to see Gary because he can't debate. <laughs> like, he yeah. literally can't. Meow. It's like, yo, he's No, he's right actually now. got a really good point. Yes. <laughs> um, hmm. Let's think of, like, any other show. I'm trying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who is the most fucking leftist? Who is the most based? Yeah. Because part of me, after what we said about Plankton, I kind of want to just say, like, you know, they have the debate to be obvious. Mm -hmm. Who is Narratively, running, it would work really well. Who is running for Bikini Bottom Town Hall right now? 
Just the Sandy. Pity. Yep. Sandy. Who's winning? Like, let, let, what's the voter base of Bikini Bottom? Because we already established that they're a fascist state. Yeah. But who's the representative for King Neptune? Like, is it going to be Sandy, who's going to fight for the people? Or is it going to be Mr. Krabs, who's going to fight for the money? Hmm. I think the people of Bikini Bottom are really susceptible to conspiracy theories. Yeah. Given how they... uh, went after a bubble friend. Yeah. He he burned our crops and whatever. Like, <laughs> yeah, like did he actually do that? that? No, but are we going to sit around until he does? <laughs> it's like the fear mongering, yeah. I think they, they're they definitely uh, more going to be on the crab side, yeah. You're going to let some landlubber... <laughs> Run for us? <laughs> what does she know about us fish? Just like a side evil laugh. Arr, 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 arr. <laughs> Try that, cheeks. <laughs> God. I'm uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah. I don't like thinking of Mr. Krabs in a political way. Mm-hmm. So anyways, the follow-up uh, that everybody's been waiting for... Uh, Devin, yeah, what a lead in, yeah. Devin grabbed his gooch. Yeah, just, I did. Just, just to just pinch in the tape for the one time. Don't ever say <laughs> You can't say those words in that order and not immediately shoot yourself in the head. <laughs> no, I felt it. Don't worry. Um, um, so just to, like, backtrack, last week we talked about, like, um, people who grab their gooch to stop... The P dribble. So, can you clarify specifically what, like, where the gooch is? Like, what, when you say, like, you're grabbing the gooch, what does it's that mean? It's the area between your, your, your ass hole and your thing. Yeah. <laughs> your thing and your hole. Yeah. So, <laughs> for science, Not quote unquote. <laughs> I, this is empirical evidence. <laughs> this is the scientific method at work. This is the truth. Yeah. I did exactly what we talked about, grabbing different spots just to see if I was grabbing the wrong one, applying different pressures. <laughs> applying pressures. Started my grind work. <laughs> and after... The song is just about grabbing his gooch. <laughs> yes, really. And after numerous um, trials, I can safely say I'm just as confused as before. (laughs) It's inconclusive. (laughs) It's entirely inconclusive. Because I don't know if it's like my urethra works just fine and I can just (laughs) stop it just when I need to stop it or if if the boop actually worked. Yeah, because that's the thing is, like, I'm able to – because I think that the pee dribble part is the – I guess it's to – it can push any extra out or something. Yeah. And it's supposed it's to, like, supposed stop to... the pee dot from showing up in the underwear, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. P dot is a <laughs> – like, Kendrick's lesser-known cousin. <laughs> <laughs> that's what Baby Keem was going to go by. It yeah. just didn't flow right. Yeah, the implications there are just too much, yeah. Um. Yeah, no, this was something I didn't partake in because I think I literally would have passed out. Um, just the thought of grabbing my gooch, like, for some reason. You're just, not, like, like going in on both. You're just kind of, like... I know, but I'm... <laughs> essentially, not, like, pushing up. <laughs> I, I, I cannot go into detail on this. I will, I like will a... not go into detail on this. Because <laughs> when we were talking about it, I was literally thinking, like, you know, there's, like, oh. a, a little ridge. So you're just, like... <laughs> It's just like, ah, that part kills me. Like, that sounds horrible. You're not, like, like, you're not pinching it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, 
Exactly, man. <laughs> but as soon as we brought it up, I wasn't trying to like shame or like be rude or anything. But I also want to clarify because I noticed you cut, kicked it out of the TikTok. I did not try this. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I could try this. I did it for time, not to make. <laughs> I only wasn't open to it because I think that shit's sensitive, you know, and that's just what made me like slumber. I will say, it, it is sensitive, and I almost like uh, ooh, first time. <laughs> <laughs> Because that was the thing. People were like, it's not comfortable, but like, yeah. I guess it works. And Do you ever get the pee shivers? Yeah. Like, everybody, I think, does. Or most people. Okay. Do you get like, the pee shivers? When I'm, like, taking a drunk piss. Just drunk? Like, Just drunk? I'm drunk and I'm peeing. Yeah, I'll chill a little bit. Like, oh, that feels... Like, the good shiver? Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> the good shiver. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, like... <laughs> I don't know if I can describe it. I be zoned when I'm drunk. It's like... When you go pee and like without, you're not cold. It's not like a consistent shiver. Mm -hmm. It's just this really quick, like your body kind of, yeah. and it shakes the pee off. Only when I'm drunk. Only when you're That's drunk. Weird. Nah. Or not weird, but like that, I haven't heard anybody else like, yeah, have a different take just on it. Just only under one condition. Yeah. Nah, it just happens to me randomly. And like that shit is the most embarrassing thing when you're in a stall. <laughs> I, mine's never like that dramatic. Are you like fucking like? <laughs> I'm just like grabbing the the wall next to me. Like, oh no! Fuck. Oh, no. <laughs> Not grabbing the wall is different. <laughs> <laughs> like oh he's he's having it rough in there. Dude, are you sure you're just pissing? Like, yeah, they're, they're probably thinking that you're getting like head or some shit, some some crazy Dude. dome. You're just grabbing both sides. You're like oh yeah. <laughs> Ah, that's wild. You know what else is wild? You, we were uh, at the mall after last recording. <laughs> you want to tell them what happened in the stall? Oh my god! All right, so we went to the bathroom together. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. That's the story. That was it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> no, but we. So we had gotten done, and we both like really had this shit. So. Essentially, we went to the mall bathroom, and first off, foul, um, and second off, we get in there, he sits in the stall next to me. Because it was the one available. Yeah. It's, I'm just saying, it, like... Sure, whatever. Because it made me uncomfortable. It was, uncomfortable. it was so quiet, and I just see his, like, fucking bunny slippers under the stall, and I'm like, yo, They were bruh. hippo slippers. The hippo slippers, bro, it was just like... I didn't want to like shit and then you hear it like that was the problem like you were just too close <laughs> I sent you a so, word hunt while we were in there <laughs> you did you didn't get back to me on that and the dude uh, some dude walks into the stall to my right so I'm in the middle right? <laughs> Devin me this guy oh that's awkward wait so it wasn't and the only wait either way it, been it was like a multiple mind. stall yeah. like big bathroom yeah. and so you know Devin's kind of finishing up I think I'm still sitting there waiting for him to leave so that I can actually <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, I, I got stage fright. Look at that. <laughs> and this dude walks into my right. And as he sits down, you know, he's just stomping around a bit. And then he's just like. Mm. <laughs> and I have never fought so hard in my life to not laugh. It was just in that moment I had so much like pressure built up because I was trying not to like shit while Devin's there. And then I just hear bro like moan. Like. Mm. As he sits down, I was gripping the sidewalls. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, you're squeezing both ends not to make any noise. I quite, I think I literally let out like a. <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> I texted Devin. I was like, I have never had such a struggle in my fucking life. Yeah. I am dying right now. <laughs> oh my god. And then the reason I was scared was because of what he ended up doing. You just let shit rip, and you just hear all the little... <laughs> <laughs> like, I was... Again, I had stage fright, so I'm waiting on, like, noises to be happening. People are using, like, the little hand dryer, like, yeah, in the water. Yeah, so yeah. then just that's when I'm, you know, out. letting my shit go. <laughs> bro was just in... Bro was in complete silence. You just hear, like... <laughs> and just, like, another little, like... <laughs> <laughs> not, the, not the finisher. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I, I know that this is such a foul story, but, like... 
and I'm not trying to put bro on blast because I get it, but like it was the initial. He was putting just, himself on blast. It was the initial like moan while sitting down that just took me out. Like yeah. I just, <laughs> no, I was pain. like, I gotta get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm so mad I didn't see your text till after I was. Moral of the story is like, it. don't go to the bathroom with your friends. Like, <laughs> I don't know how girls do that shit. Yeah. Well, they have, they probably have a better reason for doing so. Yeah. They're going to talk shit. Well, that, it's also better for them in groups. Oh, yeah, true. But yeah, the other thing, for sure. Yeah. Because yeah. all women do is lie, steal, <laughs> talk <laughs> shit, and uh, not like the nice guys. Yeah. They, they don't like nice guys, huh? Nice guys are the reasons that they go in groups. Yeah. <laughs> if you have to call yourself a nice guy, Mm-hmm. Unironically, nine times out of ten, ten times out of ten, <laughs> let me be correct. You're uh, convincing yourself. You are the problem. Yeah. yeah. I'm such a nice guy. I don't see what I'm doing wrong. Anyways, uh, shout out to our audience after that one. Yeah. <laughs> you made it through this somehow. Yeah. Um, and the the TikToks and bench warmers <laughs> are gonna go Speaking nuts. Speaking of on nice guys, one. shout out to our audience. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, a bunch of really I nice guys. I just completely <laughs> in, accidentally roasted you all. Sorry. Yeah. But yeah. Now they deserve it. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Um, Sorry, I did not mean that. This was a roller coaster of an episode, but absolutely. Um, grabbing gooch, uh, political cartoons, and yeah. Uh, and what did we talk about at the start? Uh, ableism. Oh, yeah. So a lot of good things. Yeah, Uh, solid, (laughs) solid. Thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, If you somehow made it through, I appreciate it. And uh, we'll, we'll see you next week, hopefully.